Hey guys, I am Daisho, and here is a gameplay commentary of Modern Warfare 2. This is a break from the normal free-for-alls, because I feel like somebody must be getting bored with it. And I'm a little late on that nade there, but my friend uh, gets a quad right at the beginning. Um, so that was, that was pretty impressive. But the important thing to know about Scrapyard is if you start with the C-spawn, never go to C at the beginning, because some chances are somebody from the other team is going to nade you. Um, the setup that I'm using this game is Sleight of Hand Pro, Tar, and Akimbo Deagle, so I would probably use a shotgun if this was my real tryhard class, but it pretty much is my tryhard class. Um, the style, I mean, a Tar, I think it has FMJ on it. Tar with FMJ is, like, one of the best guns in the game, I'd say. Um, uh, right about now, we're just like, oh, well, we haven't captured a point yet, so <laughs> may as well start. Anyway, so what I was saying is the, and it's just a good assault rifle, one of my favorite assault rifles. So, uh, and also um, a close range weapon, which would be the Deagles. Um, <laughs> there, I get that guy through the wall. But um, I am, my kill streaks are a little messed up. And um, it's just because I figured I might as well have some fun with the kill streaks. And I don't know. I do have I do have a lot of fun. And I if I had better kill streaks on, I probably would have had like an amazing score instead of just a decent score. And if I had been intelligent and called these uh, um, kill streaks in in a more intelligent spot, then I probably could have gotten my other kill streaks. So anyway, um, I mess I mess up with that predator missile. I should have gotten two, but I got the airstrike on. Um, and I missed. So I had to uh, fast forward a little bit. I only fast forwarded like 15 seconds here, and there you go. It's done. And um, so basically, um, my kill streaks are pred missile, precision airstrike, and stealth bomber. I don't have danger close pro yet in this game, but later on, what I do is I use the um, whatever any gu any assault rifle with one man army, and then when I get to my uh, fifth fifth kill, then I switch over to my danger close set. Um, but uh, I didn't have that this game, so there you go. I'm using the Deagles. They're actually really fun, and they're not bad, as you can see. <laughs> I mean, it did take me two entire clips to kill that guy, but that guy it only took four, uh, eight bullets, I guess. But still, um, I really like the, these guns, and they're a lot of fun to use, and they don't handicap you too much. So. I don't know. You should use them. And here's a good place to call in uh, air support. If nobody sees you go in here, then you're usually fine. So I get a nice double kill um, there for my airstrike, and now I only need two more for my stealth bomber. And I'm pretty sure I get that this time. Maybe it was a different time. I don't know. You'll see in a second. Yeah. I got a multi kill. Four kills maybe it was five I don't even know so now I decide to um, call them in in the same spot I think if I had called them in a second earlier then it probably would have worked out really well but um, I only managed to get one kill still one kills better than none and I mean with <laughs> with the precision precision I got four but with or five but with that one I only got one whatever so I still got um, five or six uh, actually, eight kills with my kill streaks there, which really isn't bad because if you have a team that's shooting down air support, you're not even going to get that much. So, this kill streak it, it really, especially if you if I was playing ground war, this kill streak would be obvious. And I had danger close pro, then this kill streak would probably be one of the best in the game. Um, but it's it's still not bad and I advocate using it. So towards the beginning of this game I'm kinda moving around tactically not really throwing myself on flags. I did cap at least one flag and not that many flags have been capped actually but I'm um, kind of just trying to get my kill streaks because they're interesting kill streaks and I figure it'll be a lot of fun. So um, somebody throws this smoke and I'm just like alright I'll throw my grenade through the smoke but first um, I want to make sure it'll actually hit someone, so I throw my stun in there, and it did hit someone, this stun, but my grenade didn't. Um, so, I, <laughs> I lost sight of that guy, but still managed to get the kill. And there's my third Predator missile, I think. And somehow, I don't manage to get anyone there. I saw three different people, and I couldn't get one of them. I really should have just gone for one of them, so that I could have gotten my air strength, but... Um, 
Uh, if I, I figured if I get three of them, then I only need one more for my next kill streak. And I do manage to get my airstrike, but um, somebody shoots me from behind. So that's the second time I got my airstrike and pred missile and died right away. Um, which is kind of unfortunate because I really like using the stealth bomber. Whether or not it's useful doesn't really matter. But um, I only managed to get two kills with the uh, airstrike that time. And two, two kills with the airstrike really isn't bad. But comparing it to something like a harrier, which is only one kill more, um, kill streak, but can get you like five or six kills. I mean, I guess it only gets you five or six kills sometimes. And that airstrike before got me four or six kills. I don't even know. So that guy is pretty much a failure. He probably saw like three of my teammates and um, he figured, oh, I can kill all of them but he didn't really kill any of us. <laughs> um, he shot me once and then I turned around and blew his face off. So um, I hear we're losing B and I pull out the deagles and I get destroyed. Uh, I don't even know what happened there. But um, Anyway, so here's where my score kind of goes downhill. I think I'm 32 and 5 and um, I finished the game 54 and 14. So obviously you can tell not the greatest score to end the game um, but I do I do get a couple of nice kills and drop shotting these guys see that guy he started shooting me first but since I drop shotted he really um, he really should have killed me but he didn't and there we both get naded which sucks um, I hate getting naded it's so depressing it's like almost depress as depressing as getting noob tubed but not really even close I, I would say <laughs> um, I get a lot of bullet penetration kills actually in this game. I want to check how many I have. Um, because, I mean, actually, I don't care. I'm going to prestige right away. Once I finish the free for alls, all I have left to do, I think I'm probably just going to do the Deagle one, and um, then I'll um, then I'll prestige. Because then after that, I just have um, M9 and Magnum and Thumper and AT4. I got the RPG game actually, which was pretty impressive. I do have to say that I don't see why anybody would ever use the Thumper if they had an RPG. RPGs are just so much better. I mean, the only the only way Thumpers are a little better is they're easier to hit guys who aren't next to a wall. Like the only way to hit somebody with an RPG is if they're next to a wall, really. So, um, as you can see, my team is not doing that well this game. Even though I had, I mean, my kill streaks while they were fun to get a bunch of kills they didn't really help the team out that much because um because they just kill kill the enemy once and without a respawn delay like there's really no help at all so there i got my predator missile called it in right away like a douche and it didn't help my team at all so there is just more evidence to my um theory that calling in your kill streaks right away is just stupid um after you die i mean um so the so I got my fourth predator <laughs> missile and so far I have four predator missiles and only one stealth bomber which kind of sucks but uh I mean the kill streaks kind of do lead up to each other but I kept getting killed right after I got my kill streak and I wasn't able to call it in a successful spot so that guy ain't is intelligent and puts a sentry gun up there but I am more intelligent and I can destroy sentry guns yeah, go me. I am so skilled. But yeah, in this map, there's a lot of good places to put sentry guns. Whenever I get sentry guns, I never manage to put them in a good spot, though. So now I'm just like, alright, guys, I mean, we really got to start winning this game. And for some reason, I don't go and capture C, but maybe I heard we were losing B or something like that. But, um, I guess we were losing B. And I didn't see anyone there. And I was really surprised when we actually lost B. But um, the other team is doing a really good job of winning, I would say. But now I'm pretty much just running towards um, flags. And I'm going to try to win the game for the team. But I don't succeed. We end up losing, which was really annoying. I'm pretty sure it was one of the really close games. But um, we dominated there for a second. But then they captured B. Um, I see this guy pop up on the radar who uh, just killed one of my teammates, I guess, and was put in last stand. But, um, yeah, the enemy keeps capturing points, even though um, we keep capturing them, then they keep capturing another one. I guess, like, my entire team is trying to cap these points, and nobody's protecting the other flags, which is really a bad idea. Um, you should always try to cap uh, and protect. But, um, I don't know, maybe this game isn't as close as I thought. I remember it being, like, 
close enough, like within 10 points. I don't know. Maybe we capture the last one? Probably not. Anyway, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video as opposed to the normal other videos that I've been putting up, which are the um, whatever you want to call them. Uh, the free for alls, that's what you should call them because that's the only thing that makes sense to call them. I don't know why I said that. Anyway, I hope you guys all enjoyed the um, free for alls that I've been putting up. And that little fail by that guy who just walked right in front of me. Um, that time I airstrike. Oh, it does get me one kill, so that's not bad. Um, but <laughs> I'm like, no, I want one more, I want two more kills. So I just basically run out and try to get kills, but I got murdered by that. So I only got one stealth bomber this game, even though I got five predator missiles and four airstrikes. Or three airstrikes, I don't remember. Um, but I did have a lot of fun with this game. And you guys should try these setups.